Hey guys, patch 1.7.9 for Repentance was released and we all agree it wouldn't be a good Isaac patch without any new insane game breaks or bugs, right? There was a simple change listed in the patch notes that says we are able to grab items spawned from chests in the death certificate area now without getting ported out. However, the change that was made here was coded in a very simple way that opened a whole new can of worms for all sorts of crazy new game breaks with the death certificate item. The way it works now is rather clear. You will only get ported out of the death certificate area if an item pedestal gets emptied. A chest is not an item pedestal, so you are good to go. But this simple way to fix it came with a big oversight. You will also not get ported out if you just switch the item on the pedestal out for another one, for example, two active items. However, as you know, you usually don't come into the death certificate area with an active item, since you just lost the death certificate itself. This is where the star of today's video joins, Tainted Isaac. All you have to do is to make sure you have any 8 random passive items when you enter the death certificate area. Tainted Isaac is able to switch out passive items on pedestals if he already has a full inventory. This simple fact basically turns him into a god with this death certificate rework. You can switch around items as often as you want and create your absolute dream setup. All you have to do is to make sure not to grab any story or active items. The approach is clear. First comes rock bottom. The item is even better for Tainted Isaac in this break since you can grab whatever you want. First step, 120 tier rate. Soy milk, kidney stone and camo undies are already enough to reach the tier cap. Just grab them all and stack the temporary effects on top of each other. Next up is damage. Keep rock bottom and the camo undies and grab up to 6 damage multiplayer items to fill the inventory. If you grab less than 6, make sure to get rid of soy milk as it still lowers your damage in the background. The 6 items I chose here all have some kind of damage multiplier and they all stack up to 569 damage with the Kamo undies activation. This should be enough to win, right? Now that the tier rate and damage are sufficient, it is time to actually go for your item build of choice. Go ahead and grab any 7 items besides rock bottom you want to use. You can go for a crazy synergy or grab some defensive items if you want to be extra sure. You can also go and grab some items that grant you some pickups before you leave. As soon as you are done crafting your dream build, it is time to leave the death certificate area. This can be done by grabbing any active item, story item or birthright. I don't think I need to tell you that this is not intended at all. It will 100% get fixed in the next patch, so have fun with it as long as it lasts. What would your ideal 7 items next to rock bottom be if you ran into the option to perform this break? I'm really curious so please let me know down in the comments. Also, while you are down there, please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy my content. It helps more than you think and it keeps me motivated to do more of these showcases. Bye! He's the number one Isaac! God's favorite son His flowing rose Reach down from heaven